Hello, my name is Mustafa Mekatria and welcome to my second tutorial about real-time operating system. The first tutorial we talked about uh, the concept of the real-time operating system. To refresh our memories, we talked about task number one, task number two, we talked about how to create a task, start it, the scheduler, the wait service, and the start service. And of course, the table with the priority, address, and ID. During this tutorial, we're going to build this using the software. For that, I used Eclipse and GCC because they are free and we can install them easily. But if you find any kind of problem, you can send me an email using this one, Smart Real Time Operating System at gmail.com or using my blog smart real time operating system blogspot.com perfect let's start the project is uh, simple we have three files the os and the os header and the project test.c if you go here you can see it's a main i'm going to create a task and start them task is just like this basically it's just a loop and a table this one don't forget a task represent a table we're going to see that and it's just look like this the task number one is just going to print I am task number one wait and calls the wait task task number two Print I am task number two, sleep, and calls start task. Perfect. If you go back to the main, we see here create task. We need the address, the priority, and the ID. I will explain you later why we use the ID here. You can go to OS and we can check for the create task. And OS.c I gathered here all the functions and services about the OS. Okay, task. Here we go. Here we have the address, the priority, and the ID. If you remember, create task is going to a build a table. So this is the table where I put the priority the address, the task ID, and the ready variable. If we go to the header, which is it's just a structure with the address, the priority, the ready variable, and the ID. Perfect. Go back to project when it's done with task number one task number two we go to do str start os check start os how it works start hours calls the scheduler i made it very simple but in the real one in the real operating system we do a little bit more than that but let's keep it simple now let's check the scheduler Okay, the scheduler basically is just, uh, I'm going to use a four here, it's just to check which one has the highest priority and if it's ready, that's it. If this is the case, we're going to save this information, this variable and this one, I'm going to use this one to start the task. That's it. This is how it works, the scheduler. When it's done, go back here. The scheduler is going to start the task number one. Task number one is going to print, wait, sleep, and wait for the task. So what does this function do? It's very important. If we go back here, we say that this wait service is going just to put zero in the ready variable and after that call the scheduler so let's see that the way task okay so the higher priorities 
is going to get zero in our case task number one we set its ready variable to zero now that that was called the scheduler let's check the scheduler if we are here the scheduler is going to test check is it higher priority yes is the ready variable equal to one no so let's check the next task is the priority good yes is it ready yes we save it here and we start it that's it go back here so we start at task number two task number two is going to print i have task number two sleep and after that we start task if you remember i told you that we are going to use this id because we created here and this id is just a reference to help the start task to know which task he has to start that's it well, let's check it start task here we go i use the id so this is stable and i find the id and i am going to put this variable to one and i call the scheduler again Got the scheduler it's going to check check the priority if it's ready we save this information and we we'll call the task it's easy at this time go here so from this we're going to jump to task number one and so on let's do a test here Pilot to check if uh, I didn't make any mistake. Okay, works good. Now I'm going to run it here. Okay, just put that little bit up. Okay, I put this slip here one second, one second. Otherwise, we're going to have a million print. I have that squad, I have that two. Top it here, we check. Here we go. We can see we create the task. And we have I am task number one, we switch to task number two, to spawn. Switch to task number one, and so on and so on. I hope you enjoy it and you didn't understand. If you have any question, don't hesitate. Just send me an email or check my blog. I'm going to post this files in my blog, or you can just send me an email, I am going to send them send this uh, project advice to you thank you bye